All right, welcome back. Um, this time we're going to take while loops a little bit farther. I just want to show you some of the flexibility that you gain if you understand while loops. Um, in a previous program you wrote, um, it's not exactly this one, but in previous programs we wrote, you used the until command, right? So you went to natural language perhaps, and you waited you know, all these until commands that were over here, um, like until bump perhaps was one of the ones that we used. Um, so let's go talk about then how the while loop is actually better. Okay, so here's a quick program. When I hit start with this program, it's gonna turn on a motor and it's gonna keep going until there's an object within 30 centimeters of the sonic ranger, okay? So until the reading of the sonar is less than 30, that's what this line 21 says, you're gonna basically keep going. It's gonna pause there, it's gonna pause there, it's gonna pause there. But the instant something gets in within 30 centimeters, then it's gonna to jump to the next line, which is to stop the motor, okay? And while that's great, that's a really simple way to do a simple task, what I want to show you is kind of the same program, but written a different way. Okay, so we have the same idea. Motor's going to start. Line 21 says, while the sensor value for sonar is greater than 30, same idea, right? Okay, greater than 30. Um, right now, the way it's written, I need an in parenthesis there. Okay, so kind of messed up the... That parenthesis would have caused everything to collapse, okay? But what's gonna do is it's gonna go to this brace, it's gonna go to this brace, and it's gonna, that, these two are the pair for the while, the start and end. So it's gonna drop right back up here to 21, and it's gonna check the sonar again. So it's just gonna keep checking over and over and over. There's nothing going on in between, so this is gonna happen almost instantly, okay? Now, the instant that something is, the, the value of the sonar is not greater than 30. So the instant it hits 30, or 29 or 28, depending on how fast you're moving. But even if it's 30, it's not greater than 30 anymore. It's going to jump out of the brace, which tells it then to stop the motor. Okay. But this is the reason that it's better because I can also do, do stuff like this. I can say, okay, not only does the value of the sonar have to be greater than 30, but I'm going to say it also has to meet a second requirement. Let's say that the sensor value of bump switch is equal to zero, okay? So let's go through and let's look at what I just did, okay? Now we added a second requirement in. We're saying, okay, start the motor in line 20, then hit the while loop. While the value of the sonar is greater than 30, this is the symbol for and, double ampersand. So while this value of the sonar is greater than 30 and the bump switch is not being pressed, then keep looping. That start motor is not going to keep starting the motor. It's going to do nothing different. Is what it's going to do. It's just going to stay in this while loop as long as nothing was in 30 and the bump switch is being pressed. So in essence, what we just created is a shutoff button. At any point in time, because this thing is going to be checking over and over and over and over and over again, just instantly checking things. At any point in time, you press that bump switch down and it happens to be a one. That means that not both of these requirements are met. And according to the and statement, we have to have this first requirement and the second requirement being met. So if the bump switch is one, that means it's not meeting both requirements, which means it jumps out. It's an emergency shutoff button, guys. That's what you just created. So the while loop is a better way to do things than the until function. Now, if you only got one thing you're checking, until is fine. Okay, it's fine. But while just gives you a little bit more versatility down the road. So keep that in mind. Obviously, the only thing I'm missing here is I forgot to tell what I'm doing here. There we go. So if something gets close or we press the shut off button, we're good to go. Hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. That's the second video in the series of how to use while loops.